five inflation brackets for this. Then I'm going to reassess baby. So what's baby's heart rate now? Okay, the heart rate on this baby is slow. Okay, um, so, and is baby making any respiratory effort? No, it's not. Okay, did I see chest rise with my inflation breaths? Now, we could see clearly that the chest rose. If you hadn't seen the chest rise, what else could you have done? Okay, and colour and tone are the same. Still pale and fluffy. Okay, so the first thing I would do is reassess the neutral position because I know that um, as a practitioner I might um, be overcome with the adrenaline of the situation. Need to make sure the baby's not hyperflex. That could be because of a large occiput, so I might consider putting a rolled up towel under the baby's shoulders to get the neutral position and make sure that I haven't overextended um, the head because that would occlude the airway. So a nice neutral position. And then I would redo my um, inflation breath. So one inflation breath. Two inflation breath release. Three inflation breath release. Four inflation breath release. Five inflation breath release. And then I would reassess the baby. So what's the baby's heart rate? So the heart rate on this baby is slow. It's still slow. And um, is the baby breathing at all? No, it's not. Did I see chest to rise with my inflation breath? So breaths? again, we could see that you got the chest to rise really nicely. If you hadn't seen the chest move, what else could you do? Okay, and colour and tone are the same. Still the same, yeah. So um, if that hasn't worked, what I really want to do is go on and think about some airway opening manoeuvres, so um, okay. a jaw thrust. Um, okay, okay, so I'm going to just take this baby away from you. And I'm going to replace it with this baby. So I'm going to start with a single person jaw thrust um, unless some help has arrived. No, you haven't got any help at that. Okay, so um, to do that, um, I'm going to put my thumbs on the baby's cheekbones, use my fingers to bring the baby's jaw forward, and then I'm going to roll the mask up and over the top, holding the mask in place with that jaw thrust to try and bring the um, tongue forward and open the airway, and give five more long, slow, sustained inflation breaths. Two inflation breaths for legs. Three inflation breath release. Four inflation breath release. Five inflation breath release. And then I'm going to reassess the baby. So, um, what's the baby's heart rate now? The heart rate on this baby is. Okay, and um, is the baby breathing spontaneously? No, it's not. And did I see chest movement? No, you didn't. Okay, um, and colour and tone? Still pale and fluffy. Okay, um, so if my help has arrived, then I'll consider a two-person jaw yep, thrust. Yes, so I can be your helper. Okay, so if I give you the bag, I'm going to do exactly the same technique. Two thumbs on the baby's cheekbones, bring the jaw forward, and I'd like you to roll the mask over the top for me, and I'll hold that and secure that in place with my two thumbs. And I'd like you to give five long, slow, sustained inflation breaths. Okay, so we'll say that's number five. Okay, so then I need to reassess the baby. Um, okay. So, what's the baby's heart rate? So the heart rate on this baby is still slow. Um, and no respiratory effort? No respiratory effort. And have I seen any chest rise? Um, no, you haven't. Um, and colour and tone? Still pale and floppy. Okay, so um, I now need to consider that there might be some sort of form of airway obstruction, and if not, the tone is so poor that I need to do something about keeping this baby's airway patent. Um, so I'm gonna inspect the airway. Um, if I have got help in the room, I'm going to ask my help to put a SATS probe onto the right, um, the baby's right wrist to get pre-ductal saturations. I'll gather my equipment, so I need a um, paediatric younger sucker, I need a laryngoscope, and I need um, some airway adjuncts or Goodell airways. So I'm going to measure the Goodell airway first from the centre of the baby's jawline, um, or the centre of the baby's chin, round to the angle of the jaw. So I think that's the right one. I'm just going to try this slightly larger one which is actually a bit too big for this baby. So that's the right one. So I'm going to take my laryngoscope in my left hand. I'm going to protect the baby's lip and gum, slide the laryngoscope blade in to move the tongue out of the way so that I can see down into this baby's um, airway. And I'm going to have a look and see if I can see any obstruction. Can I see any obstruction? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'll get my paediatric younger sucker. I'll place it into the level of the obstruction and then I will suction only on the way out for a maximum of two seconds to remove the obstruction. Um, because I've got the laryngoscope blade in, I'm going to put my um, oropharyngeal airway in. So while it's there, I'll slide that in, in the line of the anatomy. As it's going in, I shall take my laryngoscope blade out. And then I will give five further inflation breaths um, to this baby.